Right, okay, so uh, I've had to travel about 20 miles today um, just because what I wanted to do, um, the nearest one to me was packed full of people, um, so I wasn't able to do this, so I had to travel 20 miles. Anyway, um, this is still continuing on about tyre pressure, and today we're going to take our Cy Russia Ranger, and where are we going to go? We're going to go on the beach. So. Let's get prepared and uh, we'll talk about how to ride your uh, fat tire bike on the sand. So um, I've had a pretty good day riding the uh, Cy Russia Ranger on the uh, on the sand on the beach. There she is. I don't know if you can see her. She's pretty mucky, and she's gonna need a clean. But there you go. That's uh, the beauty of owning a fat tire e-bike, isn't it? But uh, I've just got a Barbie on the go. Um, I've made some bits and pieces to eat, so I'm gonna. Have some lunch and uh, I'll come and chat with you again in a bit. Right, so uh, the first part of our journey is over. Um, so we went along and uh, we rode on the sand on our fat tire e-bike, which is the uh, Cy Russian Ranger. Um, I'm absolutely soaking wet and covered in sand, as is the bike. So, um, word of advice, clean the bike as soon as you get home, but we'll go over that later on in the video anyway. So, uh, unfortunately today, I came out with my GoPro expecting to capture loads of, uh, you know, first person footage, really good footage. And unfortunately that uh, wasn't going to happen because Numpty here forgot to charge it. So, um, there's literally zero footage, unfortunately, but uh, I'll consolidate that with a uh, with a cider. Oh, 
Anyway, as you can see, I've got a barbecue on. So uh, I've got some homemade kebabs and uh, I'll pop them on in a bit. But um, yeah, so let's get back to um, tire pressure. So as I said earlier, um, when you're on the hard compressed sand, um, it's advised to, well, let me start that again. So, um, as earlier, we were riding on the sand, um, and that was really hard compressed sand. Um, so it, my foot wasn't even making any kind of indent. Um, so if you're going to go riding on that sand, then nothing to worry about with tire pressure. Just keep your tires up at 20, um, PSI, um, I had no problems with that at all. Um, don't expect to get the same amount of speed that you do, um, however. So um, whatever your maximum speed is for your fat tire e-bike, you're not going to get that um, same speed on the bike So when you're on the sand. Um, but anyway, so that compressed sand, 20 PSI. Now, normally, anything a little bit softer than that, I would advise that you go no less than five PSI and anywhere up to 10 PSI. Get one of these, take it with you at all times. It's got a PSI and bar reader on there as well. So it's really handy so that once you come away, if I'd have been riding on soft sand and um, reduced uh, my tire pressure to 5 psi well then we've got a problem because we need to ride home and most people are going to be riding home on the road you do not want to be riding a fat tire e-bike on the road with 5 psi in that tire it's an accident waiting to happen so please do yourself a favor i think I, they're you know they're not that expensive i think i paid 30 pounds for you know this um this one actually is really good um obviously it's got psi bar reader um it's got a high volume setting and it's also got a high pressure setting on it so not only can i pump the tires up with this but also i can use it to do my air shock as well so uh, because it's high pressure yeah, it does have a high pressure mode so um yeah but get yourself one because they're invaluable and you will need it. Yes, this isn't the best solution in the world for pumping up big fat e-bike tires, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, the pleasure of riding on the sand, on the beach, etc., far outweighs the extra pumping that you need to do. Um, obviously, you know, we've all probably got the big hand pumps at home, but, um, you know, you cut it's impractical to take out with you so yeah do yourself a favor get one of these well i think my coals are about ready to put my kebabs on so um right so i've got dinner on the go right so um yeah as i said riding on the road when you go back to riding on the road you want at least 10 psi in those tires really so don't worry about taking it up to um, the maximum of 20 psi unless you're feeling particularly fit and you're okay to, you know, pump for a good half an hour on each tyre. Um, but yeah, get those tyres up once you've been on the beach. If you have um, decreased them to 5 psi, then please, please get one of these. Pump them up to a 10 psi minimum on these fat tyre e-bikes. Right. Okay, so, um, obviously, as you can see, I'm slightly in the countryside, so we're going to go off-road. And what I'd suggest for off-road race, um, racing, riding, um, I would say that you want anywhere between 10 and 15 PSI in those tyres. Um, that's going to help massively um, improve your grip, essentially. Um, 
you don't really want to be riding off-road with 20 psi in those tires you're going to have a really bumpy very shaky um, experience basically so yeah riding off-road as i said 10 to 15 psi riding on the road well you've probably seen the other video so um if you're riding on tarmac if you're riding on the road for the most efficient use of this bike or and many other flat tire e-bikes for that matter you want to be riding your bike with um, the maximum air in those tires because you'll get the maximum distance um, for your battery etc so you'll get the maximum mileage out of your bike um, but if you haven't watched that video about um, how important it is to have the right tire pressure then there's probably a link somewhere either i'll pop one up here or uh, it's in the video description down below but um yeah go and check that out as well because um it goes on and explains how much uh, extra battery i use for the same distance with incorrectly inflated inflated tires almost stumbled over my words there but um let's give these a turn damn they're looking good so um yeah i'm gonna have a bite to eat i've got my disposable barbecue um i've got my cider which i keep forgetting about i've got some nice fresh fruit and uh I'm going to eat that, wet my whistle, and then we're going to head out on the off-road trials. But um, yeah, as I said, it's a little bit of a shame because Mr. GoPro is dead today. And uh, really, that was kind of an important part of the video, but never mind. You know, we've all seen off-road um, clips before, but um, maybe I'll put um some of my clips up that i did when i went down the uh, sandy lanes in hive um which is off-road again only had um 10 psi in those tires made the ride dam site more comfortable improved the grip on the um on the off-road surface as well so um yeah perhaps we'll put that up instead anyway um as i said yeah i'm gonna uh, enjoy my cider i'm gonna have a bite to eat and then we're gonna head for the trails see you in a bit Well, my barbie's all done. I've got a nice little spot by the canal. A stone's throw from uh, where I was able to prepare the barbecue. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this. Then we're going to head off off road. So I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Right guys, so um, I found uh, a little bit of um, off-road bit and uh, it's got quite a lot of uh, tree roots poking out the ground. So perfect timing really to um, sort of uh, go over these with uh, 20 PSI in my tyres and then um, obviously let some air out and we'll go over them again. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference that that makes. Um, I've got a GoPro on as well, so um, yeah, hopefully we should uh, get a few camera angles and um, hopefully you should be able to see, you know, um, the advantages of letting some air out when you're off-road. Okay, let's get to it. As you can see, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Big roots um, that are out the ground here. They're all the way along this big root here. Boom, boom. 
More big roots, look at them all. Um, it does progressively get worse through here. It's like, my goodness, this is... Uh, get down, maybe you can see some kind of angle on those. I don't know if that is showing up on the camera very well. But yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, it is quite bumpy through here. They're probably not going to show massively on the GoPro because obviously image stabilizing, but hopefully the other camera should pick up the amount I'm being bounced around. But again, as I said, it's not uncomfortable. Right, as I've said before, um, you're gonna need one of these when you go out, literally nice and small. Um, obviously it's gonna take a little while to uh, pump up huge fat tires with one of these. Um, that's why I went with one that has high volume and high pressure. Um, two options on this, and it's also got a PSI readout so that we can, uh, we can tell how much air's in our tires, essentially. So, we're gonna, um, we're gonna let 10 PSI out of these tires. So on front and back, um, we'll go from uh, 20 PSI down to 10 PSI, which is what I recommend really for uh, off-road. Okay, so let's take some air out the tires and we'll do the same little test and hopefully you might see, well, hopefully you should see a difference. Okay, let's get on with the show. Okay. Um... Let's go back the other way. Let's keep that speed down to six miles an hour. Right, hopefully that's captured that on film and hopefully it's uh it's visible as well so um obviously i can feel it but that's really a difficult thing to sort of relay across on a video so i'm hoping um that these camera angles etc have in some way um reinforced what i've been saying otherwise you all think i'm gonna i'm, I'm a complete loony and uh, i'm just saying things for the sake of it Right. Now, this isn't particularly a great um, off-road place to be, as uh, there are a lot of other people about. But what we will do is we'll uh, we'll move off and we'll go somewhere where there is indeed some better off-road experiences to be had on the bike now it's okay uh, to ride on the road with 10 psi um, we're not really going to have too much of a problem uh, with steering etc but obviously if you were riding this bike elsewhere and you had even less um, uh, air in the tyres then uh, to be honest with you I I wouldn't really go on the road with anything less than 10 PSI in those tyres to be honest with you um, obviously you're welcome to try it um, but you know you need to be aware um, I, I wouldn't go running around expecting this to behave itself and also turning the bike is going to be problematic on the road and 
and you're likely to have an accident really I know if you're somewhere of you out there going no ah, no it's all right it's fine but uh, speaking from personal experience I know as I said some of you want to prove me wrong that's fine you go right ahead um, I'm not saying it's a hard and fast rule, it's just my advice really. But anyway, we're going to uh, mosey on down the canal, which is, uh, as you can see, is glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of fishing goes on here in the canal. A lot of eels, but you know. If jelly deals is your thing, you've come to the right place. Right, I'm gonna switch off my camera. How am I gonna get moseying on? Hopefully I'll rejoin you in a bit. Well, I'm just stopping for a quick bite to eat along the Hive Canal. And uh, yeah, then we'll uh, go off road on this side of the canal. Because mostly on that side, um, we've got dog walkers, etc. So um, we don't want to get in anybody's way. So we'll go on this side. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't run into anybody. We did obviously come across some people walking. So I had to stop the camera. But uh, hopefully. Let's try and uh, get the speed up again. Exhilarating. The suspension on this bike is feeling lovely. And we just that little bit of air knocked out the tyres. It means if I hit anything solid, root stone, it's not gonna just bounce me straight up in the air. So um, now we're back on the tarmac. Um, I just wanted to point out, I've, I've only got 10 PSI in my tires. And if I turn now, I have to apply pressure on my right hand to stop the tire from completely wanting to turn left. If that makes any sense. And if I do it the other way again, I feel like I'm having to apply pressure on this side. Um, so that's the importance of the correct PSI. 
on your tyres, you know, for the correct surface. So um, I'm going to be riding on tarmac, also on the road and along pedestrianised areas as well. So I'm going to pull over up here. I'm going to put another five PSI in both tyres and uh, hopefully, well, I know, essentially that'll be fine for riding on the tarmac. But it's amazing, you know, you might not think, um, you know, a few pounds per square inch in your tyre is going to make a huge big difference, but um, believe me it will, believe me it will. And uh, you know, it's all about keeping us safe, everybody else safe, and then hopefully that way less accidents will occur. Right, so I'm going to pull over by this tree, I'm going to put some air in my tyres, and uh, we'll see you in another clip. Right, so uh, essentially I've just come out on a different day, got to a different beach, uh, one a bit more local to me. Um, the sand here is a bit softer. Um, so believe it or not, I'm actually down to about 10 PSI on uh, both tyres. Now, on these particular tyres, if it was dry sand, I would say go down to 5 PSI, um, which is the minimum that you want to go down to on um, the Cy Russia fat tyres. Um, but whatever bike you've got, check with your manufacturers as well, because obviously these, these pressures are going to differ from uh, manufacturer to manufacturer. Oh man. It's so invigorating riding through this. Let's go for a journey. really low tide and uh, we're actually driving around inside the harbour and yes that is a house well it's a giant monopoly house it's not a real house now you do have to be careful in the harbour area because there are a few places and they're not necessarily marked out but um, there's uh, what I describe as quicksand oh man this is beautiful riding on sand so much fun oh <laughs> as my back wheel slides out there. Let's go back round. Oh, oh that's fresh. I'm so wet. <laughs> oh, but it's so fun. Now, obviously, I don't have any fenders on. And that's why. Oh. But man, 
if you ever get the opportunity, come to Folkestone in South East Kemp. Oh, excuse me. Oh, talking and I felt sand all in between my teeth. <laughs> I wonder how that got there. I'm not sure what top speed we can get. It won't be 28 miles an hour, I know that much. So, uh, let's just uh, see what we can get on the throttle, on the sand. We're in pedal assist five. So, uh, we'll go on the not quite so wet. Oh, I'm not looking where I'm going. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Obviously, you know, partly to do with the surface that you're riding on. <laughs> this never gets old, though. Absolutely never gets old. <laughs> 